We have all seen time travel movies, but Christopher Nolan's Tenet introduces a whole new level of time travel. The movie revolves around individuals from the future who travel back to the past to inform their present selves about saving the world from an impending doom. In Tenet, entering a turnstile, which is a time machine, doesn't just immediately transport you back into the past. Instead, you have to travel backward in time, becoming inverted before you reach your desired point of time in past. One of these bullets is like us, traveling forwards through time. The other one's going backwards. Can you tell which is which? How about... No. It's inverted. Its entropy runs backwards, so to our eyes its movement is reversed. Confused? Now, what if I told you that you might have encountered this kind of concept in your 12th grade math? style is a time machine with two doors, a red one and a blue one. Exiting through the red door places you in a forward moving timeline, whereas the blue door leads you to a reverse moving timeline where you will eventually meet your present self as well. Let's say the red door is represented by the function f of x and the blue one is represented by the function f inverse x. And for this explanation, let's assume that our f of x is x square, making f inverse x as square root of x. So as you step out through the blue door, your journey through time reverses, moving against the increasing values of x, and stepping out of the red door moves you along the increasing values of x. The point where you encounter your present self aligns with the line y equals x, which is shown in this mind-blowing fight sequence scene. This illustrates the fact that the composition of a function with its inverse leads right back to the original value of x. Tenet's portrayal of time inversion kind of mirrors the principles of functions and their inverses, but it also makes you wonder that if we could move through time like this, then what would it mean for who we really are and what all choices we can make?